All right, so this is my 2005 Lexus ES330. Uh, I had a error code for um, shift solenoid D, uh, basically would drive the car and it wouldn't go into final gear. So um, there's a couple of good YouTube videos on how to drop the pan. And uh, that's the bad solenoid. Uh, what I did, I didn't have to remove the wheel, but I have these ratcheting flex wrenches. So that one, there, everything's 10 millimeter. But um, even though I had that with the little offset, uh, the, little, the little offset thingy on it, it's the, it's the uh, platinum ones that are like mountain and icon and all those. The flex head wrench is good enough to get the first three bolts that are under here and you'll have to take off there's more 10 millimeter uh, bolts that take off this little shield anyway the first three bolts here are kind of a they're kind of a pain in the ass to get with the with the flex wrench um, but they're it's possible the problem comes when you get to this last one and I kind of there's a mechanic guy that uh, took it off of the wobble sock and he said you'll have to lift the transaxle to get to it and I was like eh, let me see if I can just try it with the flex wrench from the other side but no you can't get to it it's that bad boy right there so you will have to come in and jack off of this jack off what you will have to come in and jack up on this uh, transaxle just to lift enough to put your your wobble socket onto that but otherwise you can reach that one that one that one and that one from the side um, when you do put your jack in put it in from the side of the car just in front of the tire because otherwise you won't get any clearance to turn your wrench when you're doing uh, this bolt here but then this one this one here is the one that's not possible unless you lift this you only got to do it just a little bit but yeah you still have to do it so if you don't have a good floor jack it's probably worth getting one um all the tools and shit that i that i got to do this job were cheaper than getting the job done by someone else so anyway uh this here this is your um valve body once you take everything down you'll have uh three bolts coming off of the filter and once you take those out the filter just pops down it's one two and then the third one is there filter pops down be careful there's going to be an o-ring in here if it's not on the on the filter lip the new the new filter should come with an o-ring around the outside um this one was all whoops sorry this one was all gross so my transmission fluid's like super black, so I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, I was driving around for like almost a whole year because this car does nothing but short, like little under five mile trips. So I didn't really need to go on the highway or anything. Um, speeds are always like under 35. So I've just been limping it along the whole time. Anyway, this is your shift solenoid D right here. You'll, there's, there's a good diagram on uh, sonax.com but uh, I can put it up here too. So you'll have these long boys. If you got to replace any of these, then you're going to have to drop the valve body, but these all come out pretty easy. There's a little screw right there. I have to put that in, uh, a bolt, I mean. But yeah, you just undo that and then get a little flathead screwdriver and uh, undo this clip. And then uh, don't pry from the clip, but pry from the body with that same little screwdriver and just give it a little gentle, uh, pry and then it should just like pop out if you're putting any kind of crazy force on anything you're doing it wrong so so that's it that goes in uh and then you just bolt everything back up getting all these down again is, is probably going to be a bitch but uh so easier to take it off than to put it back on but i'm sure i'll manage uh if you have power tools that would be the way to go but yeah that's that's the job so hopefully um that helps somebody. All right. But wait!
stage floor. Oh, and then I noticed here too that there's there's a couple little vacuum lines, and I I noticed that some of these were popped off. So make sure they go like this little this little dinghy right here is off of something. So I got to find out where that goes on to, and make sure uh, all your vacuum lines are where they should be. All right.